Hello everyone and welcome back to this Next.js and Strapi tutorial series. In the previous video, we added our first relation uh, to our model, which was uh, a relation to capture this um, link here between a job and other potential and, uh, and, and other jobs, namely the related jobs. Okay, so here what we want to do now is to create a relation to capture this um, uh, link here. Basically, a company has zero or many jobs and the job is posted by one and only one company okay so and it's bidirectional in the sense that from a company we will like, like as you can see here uh, from a from a company we will like we, it, it will be uh, interesting to to be able to to know like we are doing here what are the comp what are the jobs related to that company so here in the link we pass in the slug of the company and that returns to us all the comp of all the jobs of that company so that's that's one of the type of queries that we would like to do obviously when we are displaying a job all right so when as we display the job even in the in the job listing page okay this is the logo of the company and this is the city of the company okay so these are attributes related to the company so even when when we get when we have a job itself we would like to display as you can see even more clearly here on the company on the job uh, details page we would like to know which company it belongs to so that's a bi-directional relationship and how do we do that in Strapi? well let's say I'll add another field I'm going to add here uh, a relation okay and I'm going to link it to company or oh, and Strapi is already linking that for us uh, so let's do that here uh, fantastic so we have a company and what we want to do uh, it, obviously we want this to be optional because a company has zero or many jobs okay so a company has um, zero many jobs and the jobs belong to one and only one company all right so i think this is the perfect relationship for that okay so let's add it here uh, like this i think it's brilliant let's save and see what happens okay if i click here i open this link here before we save like if i visit the company these are the fields okay we don't have a relationship here at the moment okay but if i save this you're going to see that the relation is going to appear as well here so see uh, I've, i don't have anything now that this is saved we have the company relation um, and if i refresh here see that now bingo we have the jobs relation as well appear here so basically from a company we can get the jobs and from a job we can get the company that is related to that job brilliant okay so and the final one you remember we said in the pre one of the previous videos that we will deal with skills uh, a bit uh, attacks a bit differently in strapi uh, compared to something like uh, contentful that gives us um, like the ability to deal with uh, the skills uh, and tags in a in a in a very specific way there's no pros and cons i'm not making a pro and con argument here um strapi is very flexible and uh, i don't think they need uh, a, spe a special kind of uh, entities to deal with uh, the tax thing just like uh, had having um, an entity type called tax and linking them with the jobs uh, is, is perfectly a valid way to do that so let's do that now we're gonna add um, tax relations to our jobs okay so let's link this to tag and we're gonna call this skill tags okay skill tags skills tags like this and it's a many-to-many -many relationship to keep my naming convention so it's a many-to-many -many relationship so basically a job has and belongs to many tags uh, right so and, and i think it's, it's perfectly valid a perfectly valid way to put it right so so for example a job can have many tags zero or many tags and a tag can have, can be linked to zero or many jobs right so that's a perfectly valid thing and just like we did for the, the, the for the company if i click here now and i refresh you see at the moment we don't have a relation attribute here okay but the moment i click here on finish and i click on save okay so the moment i do let me make sure that i have it right with the namings and everything very good okay i save here and I refresh bingo you see we have the, we have the relation here as well right so it's fantastic so jobs uh, a job a tax has and belongs to many jobs right so um, 
it's a brilliant 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 thing so now we have created our um, relations between our entities uh the next thing we're going to do is um now actually create those the entities right so far we have all our model uh i think we have designed the model the company the job the tax and uh, it's, it's just about time that we start adding some content because everything is empty at the moment so that's what we're going to do in the next video thank you for watching and i see you in the next one bye